Hey everybody, who do we have in the chat today? Oh awesome, got some thumbs up already. Hope you guys are doing great. Um, just wanted to highlight or spotlight real quick um, something that you guys may have noticed. Uh, let's go to, have you guys looked at the spot price lately? I don't know if you guys have seen, but the spot price has been on the rise. Hello, Silver End AU. Good morning, or almost good afternoon. It's good to see you. I'm just pulling up a couple of things real quick, and then we can start uh, highlighting and showcasing uh, the spot price, especially because that's what I really want to talk about. So I don't know if you guys uh, caught either caught my live stream yesterday. Hey, Fleabag, how you doing? Stack and Silverman, good to see you. Um, I don't know if you guys caught my, my live stream yesterday or the playback on it where we were highlighting and bringing up, let me see if I can do this real quick. Um, okay, so we were talking about this coin, right? This is the Zeus uh, 2020. And as of yesterday, this was uh, still you know pending. It was not released yet. Uh, and as you can see, it was opened up this morning right while I was <laughs> out of the house. I wasn't planning on picking it up anyways, but uh, as soon as I clicked on it, I saw out of stock. And my understanding was they opened it up at about 9.30 a.m. Uh, I checked it at 9.48 and it was already sold out. Uh, they do, however, still have, or at least last I checked, let's go to the search bar and type in Zeus. So they have this one now out of stock. There were about 15 of them maybe half an hour ago. They're selling them at 70 bucks. Um, this other one, the BU version, uh, you can see here was going for, it was originally 31 when I first uh, saw it open up this morning and now it's showing uh, about 35 if they had any left. So they do not have any at this point. Um, Appmex. Appmex did have a Zeus one, uh, but they're not really showing them either right now. So yeah, here's a 2020 BU. Let's see. You can sign up for alerts through Appmex if you have an account with them, and you'd be able to um, you'll be able to actually uh, get a text message when it does become available, which I'm sure it will sell out quickly there too. Um, how you doing, DA uh, Sales? Good to see you. Green Husky, hey, how's it going? And uh, Silver you opened up at 9 a.m., sold out by 9.05. Isn't that crazy? That's crazy. So uh, begs a question. Let's go real quick to, oh, by the way, I wanted to show you guys this too. This is the original 2014. I did find it. JM Boolean has it currently out of stock, but when they did have it in, they were selling it at 230 to 240 uh, price range. So 
If you go on eBay, you could probably find this coin for much, much more. Uh, I think I saw one that was like $1,200, which is kind of crazy, but it's the same design in a more, uh, I guess, it doesn't have the, the rim around it. So it looks a little bit different, but this was also minted by the Perth Mint. You can see the P here on the side, but that's the original coin. Uh, and then, of course, they had other ones. These are probably what we can expect to come out later in this series. Um, you know, this one being Athena, and I'm not sure which were the other ones that, that were released. But anyways, a quick sellout, which is awesome. I'm sure we will see a few more come from Apmex as well. Uh, but to highlight uh, this really quickly, let's talk about silver spot price. And here on, this is Yahoo, right? This is uh, quoting off the Comex, um, or the Comex, as some pronounce it. Uh, here we're seeing spot price at 2020 on July 20th in the year 2020, which is very coincidental. I think that's kind of cool. Um, bought some antiqued when I went to get uh, the BU. It was gone. Yeah, I saw your comment on that. That's that's crazy. Got an antiqued one right at 9.01 a.m. Awesome job, Stacking Silverman. Uh, definitely post a review on that when you get it. Um, but yeah, this is this is the daily spot price chart let's go to full screen real quick i want to see what it peaked at because it did peak earlier and it probably will still um let's see right there okay so if i can bring it into frame um you can't see the price because it's kind of off the frame but this is showing it peaked at 2027 at 10 35 this morning uh, and then there was right here at the bottom this little uh sell-off uh, which means you'll see a dip, right? And then there's probably going to be purchases after that. So these might be, you know, price manipulations or whatever you want to call it. But uh, that that looks like it was a big sell-off. Maybe J.P. Morgan went short on it. I'm not sure. Uh, but to go back to, let's get rid of that. Right now, what are you guys doing? Are you guys stacking for weight, or are you stacking the higher premium stuff? Because I know there are a, f a couple of different methodologies. Uh, Cactus Jack says he's going to uh, pass on that one. Premiums are higher than Olympus. Um, are you guys buying the higher premium stuff or the lower premium stuff right now? Because my understanding is a great methodology to go after is when spot price goes up, that's when you buy high premium stuff. When spot price is really low, that's when you buy super cheap stuff, the junk stuff, junk silver and things like that. So just uh, highlighting or showcasing some of my higher premium items that I have here. Um, I'm not sure if you guys remember the Queen's Beast series, uh, which I think there's still one left that they have not yet released, but this is the Griffin, uh, the Griffin of Edward, right? A beautiful coin, lots of really nice detail to that. Uh, and this was the first in the series. Uh, just a nice chunky two ouncer. 2020, is this the start of a moonshot? I hope so. I don't know. I'm collecting for the long term, 20 years. That's a smart move. Uh, you know, I did watch a video yesterday. Uh, I think it was Guido who posted it. And he was mentioning how, yes, there should be a portion of your stack that you're hanging on to for you know preservation of wealth, etc. But he was also bringing up a really great point. And that being that spot price goes up and down and money can be made on both the rise and the fall of spot price uh, if you're making the right moves. So what that serves to do in making you more money is it allows you to add more to your stack. So I did like that uh, that he mentioned. So um, I get constitutional spot, but I also buy higher premium coins. Uh, that's awesome. On the bright side, LCS is holding a vintage Engelhard for me, 50 kilogram I'm sorry, 50,000 minted, only 220. Is that a 10 ounce bar? Um, silver and AU, that sounds like that's a 10 ounce bar. Uh, started focusing on fractional gold pesos and 90% junk. That's cool. Hey, Johnny Kilo, how you doing? Coin collecting with Tyler, good to see you. Just made a new video, Silver Husky. It is crazy. Uh, what's crazy about the video, uh, Tyler? Go ahead and let me know. Uh, the Beast on both sides yeah it is a 10 ounce here. awesome so yeah i don't have i wish i had this one in 10 ounce that would be beautiful this one in the lion uh but these the, those two are my favorites this one the lion then maybe the dragon and then the bull uh actually they're all really beautiful the yale was kind of wonky looking but um we'll leave it at that um i'm sure you guys have seen this one also from rwanda this was the rooster still in its original packaging i'll probably never take it out uh it just looks really cool i do like how the uh 
how it blurs everything in behind. Uh, you can see everything gets blurred behind that. But the coin itself, you can't really see it too clearly because it is also blurred, but it does have uh, you know different uh, different polishings, I guess, to it. So it looks pretty neat. The Lunar Rooster. Uh, I am a rooster, I guess, <laughs> the year of the rooster, but a really cool design. And this is a higher premium coin as well. Um, let's see. What do we got here? I tried to do both if possible, just cover it from all ends. That's awesome. Good job. Um, and then this one, the Germania. You know, I when this was first released, I was like, that looks like a pretty cool coin. And this is just when I was getting started into silver stacking and coin collecting. Uh, and what I ended up doing, I think I got this one for like $31. And my understanding is now you can find it, if you find it cheap, cheap is considered like $65 for this uh, this round. Again, it is not a coin. It is from Germania, which is not a country, but a private mint. It was minted last year. And I do love the bicephalus eagle that they use uh, holding the two arrows that look really cool. The The finish on it, is what I think I like the most. Uh, you can kind of see it there. It almost looks like it's, um, I don't know, stamped out of stone or something. It just looks really cool. But yeah, this is a kind of like the the Zeus one, right? You see it when you find it, and you, you know, on first release, it's coming out at like thirty, thirty something dollars, and then lo and behold, six months later, a year later, it's worth about triple that. So you never know what you're gonna get when you get a coin you can kind of make estimations based off of you know the beauty of the coin and maybe who's minting it and what the limited mintage on it is uh, the fineness and detail on it and things like that can kind of give you clues but you never really know if a coin's going to hit or not you know if it's going to be a flop um, great example was the black bart series or sorry the uh <laughs> the black flag series I'm sure you guys have seen that Queen Anne's Revenge was the first one. First in the series was real hot. Then the Black Bart was also real hot. Um, those are ship coins. But then if you look at the Batavia, not only was that a sinking ship with the upside down feature to it, but it was also triangular. And there weren't any other coins out there that were triangular. So in theory, that one would have been a hit, but it really wasn't. It didn't get as much hype, and I'm not sure why. Uh, that's kind of, I guess, the, the hit or miss factor there. Um, but Cactus Jack, if you're still in the chat, I know you were asking me about uh, these bad boys. The Nevada uh, State Quarter is just such a beautiful, I think it is the most beautiful out of all of the uh, the quarters that they came out with. And this one in proof is just even prettier. So for those of you who don't know, I see I got 12 in the chat, please hit the thumbs up if you would. Um, for those of you who don't know, I'm actually selling rolls of those um, those quarters. If interested, just hit me up. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm selling these at 16 and a half times face uh, by the roll uh, because sending them one by one would just be way too much in shipping. So I got a couple of really pretty examples here. Uh, I still think this is the, the most beautiful. Uh, so let's see what you guys are saying in the chat. Uh, I couldn't do metal detecting because the mini, because of the mini beaches are all underwater. <laughs> uh, and I did do some magnet fishing, but I only found trash. Yeah, that stinks. When I go metal detecting, I always find trash. Uh, waiting for the Beast's Queens. Uh, should be a winter series. That's funny, man. Uh, I think you got the best of both Germanias, or best of the Germanias. Yeah, I like that one the best. Have you guys seen the Fafnir? I don't know if you guys have seen it. Let me see if I can pull it up real quick. Um, I'll pull it up on Instagram. If you guys haven't seen the Fafnir, it is it is sick. Um, let's see if this is the right one. Nope, that's not it. Let's try Germania Mint. All right, guys, I'm gonna switch this over so you can take a peek real quick. Look at this. So this is the Germania Mint's Instagram page, uh, and they do have some pretty Awesome, here's the Fafnir. Uh, I'm gonna click on this one. Oh, I have to be logged in. Guess that's not gonna work. But anyways, a really cool, a really cool coin, or round, let's call it. And look at how far it protrudes. I think they said it's four millimeters on this side and two millimeters on this side. And the design is a, that, oh crud, get out of here. Log in to continue. Okay, so I'm gonna get out of that. Anyways, beautiful coin. Make sure you check it out. 
Uh, it is pretty stinking awesome. Um, all right, let's say hi to some people. Tay Jones, nice to see you, man. Loves the Germania mints. Brass Junkie, Brent Dewey, how's it going? Uh, Jimmy Lacari, good to see you. A lot of hellos going around in the chat. Silver Husky, I managed to get a few of the Zeus. They sold out so fast, right? Crazy fast. And I did see your post on Instagram, uh, Metals Monk. I saw that. I think there were only a handful left, uh, according to your your post. But when I went back and checked, they were all gone again. So, um, yeah, kind of crazy. But yeah, these higher premium coins. Here's another example of one. This one being the Dragon Phoenix with the error. Uh, error being that little mirrored gap right behind the Phoenix's head. Uh, you know, a coin like this, if it was the regular one. I would say this is probably going for about 40 to 60 right now, but this arid one is closer to 300 something. Um, as as the premiums go up, the price on these actually stays the same. So it gives people a great opportunity if they really wanted to pick something like this up to liquidate their cheaper stuff because now spot price is higher and pick up this higher premium stuff that might be harder to come by. Um, and I think that, that that makes a lot of sense. So there is obviously you know money to be made and things like that. In the uh, in the bullion market right now, do you guys have any experience with selling? Uh, I know a lot of people in the community they're they're buyers, they're stackers, they pile it on, but few people actually do uh, do sell, and that's pretty cool stuff. The purple looking Fafnir is totally uh, totally going to head my way. Yeah, I think I'm going to pick that one up too, but I am curious what the premium on that is going to look like. I can only imagine a coin like that. They could probably put it at 250, and it would sell. Uh, no doubt in my mind it would sell. Uh, here's another example of, again, this is the mirror tree trunk error coin. I don't know if you guys have seen this one. This was last year's emu. And this one was actually sent to me by another YouTuber, and I sent it in for grading. Super generous guy. Didn't even ask me for payment on it or nothing. He just said, hey, I'm going to send it to you. You can make a video about it if you want. And he asked me, he actually asked me not to, to shout him out, which is crazy super awesome guy uh, but yeah what you see here is this this emu the one on the right um, has a third leg it's not an actual third leg but this is where the uh, the tree trunk behind it right the tree that's going there that tree trunk was supposed to be frosted over like the rest of the ground and like the background and like that tree however they accidentally left it polished and when it came off the line uh, it came out with a third leg so it looks like a three-legged emu. Uh, they released these into the wild, into the public, and a lot of them were bought up. I, I think even Modern Coin Mart released a bunch of them. Uh, but then the, the Perth Mint recalled them, melted them back down, and made new ones with that tree trunk frosted. So we don't know actually how many of these exist. Uh, I think I think there were this was like a mintage of 40,000, but of those 40,000, only a few of them uh, made it to the U.S. and of those, you know, the amount that got minted or sorry that got graded was not too many. This one didn't make it to a 70, unfortunately. Uh, I think it was because right here next to the E there is a little something. Uh, I'm not sure what that is, but aside from that, the coin is a pretty stinking beautiful coin, just like the other one. So Perth Mint does make the occasional mistakes, uh, and when they do, you can capitalize on that. But again, these are now higher premium coins. Uh, which you know they're really just bullion, but they are higher premium now. So is it a good time to pick up higher premium? Uh, Archaeology Mike says I bought a BU 1883 O Morgan for 35 bucks and a BU 1885 uh, Morgan with album toning for 35 at a pawn shop. That's awesome. Those are those are real good deals. Has anybody got the 2020 W burnished? Uh, anybody get the 2020 W burnished a couple weeks ago? I, I don't even. I don't think I saw that. Um, you're talking about from the Mint DA sales? Uh, I have seen that they're going to be releasing the V75 really soon. I think that's going to be pretty awesome. Great live production as, as always. Catch you later. Hey, Cactus Jack, great to see you, man. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you soon. And uh, let's see. Same brand. No BU Zeus. Ah, the old tripod emu. Yes. <laughs> it is the tripod emu. They used to call him Tripod in high school. Um, we had a field day on that one uh, on an auction a couple weeks ago. Tell me about that, Tay Jones. Um, uh, what was the field day at auction? How did that look? 
because I'd love to know. It's really hard to tell with these guys what the current going price is. Uh, you could try to look on eBay, but that's not always not always going to reflect what you could get for them. I think if this one went up on like a stacking stormtrooper auction, it would probably fetch a pretty penny. Same thing with this one, right? Those would those would fetch a lot, but those would be for the whales, right? The people who have you know tons of money to throw around on on you know unique pieces like that. Um, okay, that is a cool coin. Muscle shell, good to see you. Uh, I was going to get one uh, DA sales or dust sales, uh, but I changed my mind and got some junk silver instead. And let, let me ask you guys, when talking about junk silver, uh, you know, junk silver, regular junk silver is typically, uh, you know, tarnished and worn down, circulated, and it's not going to carry the full content of silver. It starts to wear down over time. Uh, and when you get that average circulation, you're going to get something closer to spot. Now, how do you guys feel about uh, premium, right? Higher premium on proof 90% silver, right? So this is, you know, this is proof silver. Uh, do you think 16.5 times face is a good price, or what? What is your limit that you would pay for these proofs? Seeing as how not only do they carry that that nicer premium of having that extra finish to them the polish and the, you know, that's just a beautiful coin, right? But also they do have the full content of the silver. It's not been worn down over time by, you know, running through people's pockets and through, you know, whatever, jukeboxes and stuff like that. Uh, let's see. I just got it because of the 2020 craziness and now they aren't available. So we'll see what happens. Yeah, I'd love to see what happens with that coin. Um, I should have got one. It did go up on Stormies and it did go crazy. How crazy? Tell me, Brass Junkie, because I missed that. And he, you know, he messaged me and he told me that, you know, that coin went for a lot, uh, but I don't know how much a lot is. Was it like five, six hundred, or was it like two or three hundred? Lots of sarcasm and jokes. Stuff is like that. A third leg, or you're happy to see me. <laughs> it's actually, uh, actually was on Stacking Stormtroopers auction. I can't remember the price, but like you said, it was up there. Uh, shit. Hey, Silver Dragons, what's up, man? Good to see you. Guys, we got dragons in the house. Um, let's see, here's a dragon coin. So, good to see you, Silver Dragons. What are you up to today? It's got to be early there on the west, west coast. I think you're uh, you're in Oregon, if I'm correct. So, it's like 9 a.m. Um, it's already lunchtime where we're at, but uh, good to see you, man. Um, 16 to 16.5 is fair, in my opinion. Right, Silver Dragons, tell me, what would you... What do you think is a fair price? I know Silver Dragons actually released a really awesome video on uh, you know the time space value and how to purchase uh, junk silver, but this being a little bit higher premium, Silver Dragons, let me know, uh, do you think 16.5 times face is a fair price for proof quarters, right? As I was mentioning uh, to the rest of the chat, I got uh, rolls of them, about $100 face, of these proof quarters 2009 through about 2011 uh, that I've got up for sale on different sites and stuff like that. Uh, just trying to flip it, but I have it at 16.5 times face and I'm just curious if that is too much or if that's all right. Um, yeah, and if you haven't checked out Silver Dragon's video for any new you know, stackers or anybody who's looking to buy uh, that good stuff, right? And what I mean by the good stuff is that, that um, the junk silver check out his channel sub him and check out that one video on junk silver because it is uh, pretty stinking awesome uh, let's jump over real quick and see let's see no way I was getting them for 15 times face value all right so silver dragons was picking those same coins up for 15 times face um, maybe because silver is up it's okay and that's true because if you bought it two weeks ago silver was like at 17 but now it is let's do this real quick okay we're showing 2022 let me refresh this yeah 2022 is spot price via F yahoo finance right this is the the comex uh price is up there and it's been jumping around i think at its peak it's looking like what 10.29 was its peak so just about 10 or sorry 20.30 is where it peaked at and it'll, it's going to jump around a bit throughout the day uh, and I think throughout the week we might see it dip back down towards Friday but yeah um, Silver Husky do you have any Spanish 8 reals? Johnny Kilo I do not uh, I've never had an 8 reals. I've been searching for them I've actually uh, did some uh, metal detecting in Treasure Coast up by Vero Beach in Florida 
I don't know if you guys know about the, what is it, the 1715 fleet, or is it 15, 1517 fleet uh, that went down over there. Tons of gold and stuff supposedly is still scattered on the beaches. I couldn't find anything. I found a chunk of metal, but it wasn't anything special. Um, Lambo Stacker, how's it going, buddy? Uh, let's see. That's Futures. Okay, so he's saying that's Futures. Let's go to JM Boolean. Let's see what theirs is. Um, spot price of silver. Here we go. Okay, so this is probably a more accurate depiction of what spot price is doing right now. So we got uh, 18, or sorry, 1984 is an ask price. Gold at 1819, and let's see this gold to silver ratio. Dropping, right? Drop it like it's hot. So we're down in the 91 and some change to 92. Uh, so that's that's actually, that's pretty good. So current spot is 1989. Let's go here. DA sales, where, where do you go to find that spot price? Because mine is showing 1984, which isn't far off. It's just, it's close. My mom gave me a late uh, 1500s, early 1700s silver, 1 16th pieces of eight struck off center. That's awesome. That's a cool piece. Spot is lower than futures. Go to Kitco. All right, let's do Kitco. Kitco. Daily gold chart. I haven't been on Kitco in some time, but let's let's take a peek at these. Bear with me, folks. Having trouble getting this to open. All right, guys, we have silver dragons in the house. I don't know if you guys saw that or not, but everybody say hi to him. And if you have a moment, please, please give me a thumbs up on this video. Helps me out a lot. I'm just getting started. Uh, new channel for anybody who's in the chat. Um, just to let you guys know, uh, I, I had a channel a year ago, and uh, you know, in that, in all the videos, I probably had like a hundred something videos up, and in all those videos, I was doing face reveals of myself, of my kids, you know, all that stuff. Uh, and you know, I came to find out that that's that was really stupid of me. So I ended up deleting my entire channel, all the videos, everything. I wiped it out for about a year. And obviously, coming back from scratch now, no face reveals because I want to, you know, protect myself. I think it's a very smart thing to do. But you know, it was a trial and error thing. I kind of learned uh, the hard way. So, um, you know, if 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 you guys would be so kind and help me out with the algorithm, leave me a like here and there. Um, hey, Silver Dragons, remember to smash. I, I like it when people punch the the like button. You don't have to smash it, but like just give it a good, good sucker punch is good. Um, but yeah, that'd be awesome. But anyways. Um, I'm not going to make this too long. I just wanted to bring up a couple of things. Obviously, that this coin is now sold out. Silver Dragons, I don't know if you picked one up or not, but uh, but that coin went like hotcakes, right? Whatever that phrase really means. But it disappeared. It's gone. You can't get it. Uh, there may be some other sites that still have it. I know Atmex has not listed it yet, but they will probably uh, drop it pretty soon, I imagine. Uh, but yeah, anyways, uh, my question, Silver Dragons, to the chat was, when spot price is up, is that when you buy high premium coins and you know rounds and things like that, or do you wait for spot price to drop back down? When's the the right time to execute a move onto the higher premium items? Um, I know that, for instance, my methodology has been whenever spot price is really low, that's when I'm buying junk silver. I'm buying the cheapest I can and I'm stacking weight. When it goes up, I flip it, and then I'll I'll try to get some of the nicer stuff stuff to hang on to. Yeah, when it pops up on Atmex in a few days, I'll bet. Yeah, it, sorry. Yeah, it will. You're right. Um, very cool. Last few videos also managed to get uh, a few Zeus. Very nice. Yeah, Silver Dragons, your videos are awesome, man. You got some good content that you put out. It's very educational. I'll say that I've learned a lot from watching you and several of the of the other uh, YouTube personalities just really great stuff um, what do you think you guys think that aside from futures do you guys feel that silver will break 20 this week uh, put a one in the chat if you think it'll break 20 this week 
Get all your collector stuff now, I'd say. Good stuff, man. I like that. Got to go make my kids some lunch. Bye, everybody. Hey, uh, Stack and Silverman, thank you so much. Uh, tell your kids to check out my video. I don't know if you guys have seen. I, I dropped a video on uh, coin collecting for kids. And on Wednesday, right, two days from now, I'm going to be dropping the uh, the other video, not coin collecting for kids. This one's silver stacking for kids. So everything they need to know about getting started in silver, and it's made in a more kid-friendly format. I go through all the, the verbiage and all that stuff, so it's good stuff. Uh, one other thing, as you guys know, I do have uh, a, a giveaway going on right now. This is my 500 subscriber giveaway. I want to thank you guys, uh, because thanks to all of you, I am above 500 now, and uh, actually poking closer to 550, so that's awesome. Uh, in the giveaway, I have not mentioned to anyone yet, but there are two coins. I'll be dropping a video tomorrow to show you what the two coins are going to be. One of them is the um, the comment video, and the other one is a shout-out video prize. Right. So if you left a comment in the comment video, you'll be entered to that one. If you made a shout-out video, you'll be entered for the second one. You're allowed to win more than one. Third prize. I actually had a chat with Silver Dragons about. Um, I appreciate that, Silver Husky. Got to run. Hey, Silver Dragons, thanks for stopping by. You're awesome. Um, have a good day, everyone. Silver to 23 this week. Yeah, let's see it, man. I'd love to see that. That'd be awesome. Um, so the third prize being that 22-carat itty-bitty tiny little piece of gold that uh, is actually mimicking the... Um, what's it called? The the American Gold Eagle, a twenty twenty dollar Gold Eagle, but it's tiny, guys. I'm talking like Lego Man tiny. Uh, this piece is uh, minted by the Columbia Mint. I looked it up, and there is actually quite a bit of information on it. Give me one second. I'm gonna go grab it. So just to give you guys another peek at this beautiful thing, right? I'm going to be giving away one of these five. So let's open this up. And I'm going to give you a close up. Now, I don't know how well it's going to focus. The video that I'll be dropping tomorrow has much better focus and you'll be able to, to pick up on it. Yeah, that's not going to focus. Let's see. Come on. Come on. Show me my fingers. There we go. Okay, so yes, I do need a manicure. But as you can see, this is like a baby baby gold eagle, right? And then on the back side, on the reverse, there's an eagle and it says United States of America $20. So the other cool thing is right there, it's stamped with 22K. Very hard to see, but it is a really cool coin. Hey Kayla, how you doing? Welcome to the chat. You might have chatted earlier, I didn't see, but i um, just saying hi now. So. Awesome to see you. But yeah, this one, to win this one, right? Got 12 people in the chat. You guys are getting the insider scoop. You can actually get two entries to win this piece of gold. And this is 0.85 grams, so it's a little bit less than a gram. I think it's uh, six grains is what it's called. Um, the unit of measure, that's six grains. But if you want to win that one, you have to actually uh, solve a puzzle. There's two videos, both of them are already released, right? That's the hint. The first one was released between the week of the uh, 7th and 14th, and the second video was released between the 14th and, uh, technically it would have been by tomorrow, right? By the 21st, but I'm letting you guys know it's already out there. So if you find both videos uh, embedded in the video, there's a secret code, a secret message, some kind of a you know instruction uh, that might give you a clue on how to enter this. So if you're able to find both of them and solve them, whether it be a riddle or a puzzle or a code to crack, whatever it is, right? I'm not telling you what it is, but if you solve them both, both of them will get you two entries. Uh, if you only solve one of them, you get one entry. If you aren't into puzzles and games and stuff like that, that's fine. Uh, but I am giving out one of these to whoever uh, you know solves that, not to whoever solves it, but you get an entry and then there will be a a drawing. So for the first video, we have exactly eight people who have solved it thus far. Uh, for the second one, there's only two so far. So there's plenty of people who have not even found it, right? Um, let's see what we got here. Um, there she is. Hi, Silver Husky. 
Nice. Hello, everyone. Hope everyone is doing well. Yeah, so I hope you guys are having a great Monday. Just so you guys know, I did take the day off. Um, this is my day of decompression. I'm actually going to probably go out and about and do some um, coin star hunting. I don't know if you guys have ever done that before, but hit up a couple of local places that I know have coin stars and just see if there's anything left in the coin return tray. Um, you know, honestly, I, I find that to be a very uh, cheap way to get some free silver, although it does cost you gas. But, you know, instead of going stir crazy sitting in the house, uh, I get to get out and about. And uh, I'd say that in all of my time uh, coin star hunting, uh, I've probably found maybe like 350 or $4 face in dimes and quarters uh, that are silver. I've only once found a silver 35% nickel, but I, I find a lot of dimes. I've even found three or four mercury dimes, um, two in one day once, actually. Uh, but yeah, some mercury dimes, uh, a lot of Roosevelt's and stuff like that. So it's, it's really cool to be able to find that stuff for free just out and about, whether it be at a Walmart or a Winn-Dixie or wherever. Uh, they are everywhere. Uh, but yeah, if you just check the coin return tray, you don't have to ask them to open it up for you or anything like that. But I actually posted a video maybe a month ago on how to properly check a, uh, a coin star because it's not just in the coin return tray. Sometimes you find them on the, the countertop. Uh, or even under the machine, they roll under as people try to get like a fistful out. They they drop a coin and it rolls right under the machine, and you never know. Anyways, um, Johnny Kilo says it is very confusing, and he's gonna try to solve it today. I'm not sure which one you're talking about. Please don't don't leave uh, any hints or anything like that in the comments for those uh, code breaker uh, puzzles. That would be great, but yeah, they, they are very confusing and unless you follow the instructions, watch the video in their entirety, and look for all of the clues because it, everything you need is within the video itself. You, you don't have to go uh, too much further than what the instructions in the videos are to find what you need. So um, so yeah, I know you're going to find it. Uh, I still have to solve one of IS's codes from uh, a ways back. I think you're talking about his number station one. Uh, I actually had a long chat with him about that. We we did solve it. My daughter and I cracked the code to his number station uh, video. And if you guys don't know what I'm talking about for International Stacker, uh, that's a video from a long time ago. So uh, good luck finding it. I think it was maybe like six months ago that that video came out. But it was really cool. Uh, he mentioned that only four people have solved it. So there's only four people entered into whatever whatever that's going to be and he's going to do it on his next mega god which would be awesome but uh but yeah anyways uh give me a hint brent dewey um you know the hint is that it is between the 7th and the 21st that there are two videos they're somewhere in there and you got to find them that's the hint right brass junkie same all right guys well i'm gonna end up cutting this video i gotta go make myself some lunch i am hungry mickey knox guys mickey knox check him out uh, he just hit me up in the chat good to see you buddy um, I got a really awesome giveaway win from Mickey Knox he gave me two Asahi rounds um, they came in safe uh, thank you Mickey Knox guys check him out uh, either here on uh, on YouTube or you can check his channel out on Instagram uh, he's a really really great contributor to the community and uh, and obviously very generous if he gave away two Asahi refining rounds. Those are beautiful pieces too. So um, so yeah, that means 50% of the people who solved it are here. You know, that's possible. That's possible, Brass Junkie. I don't know if the other person solved it. Uh, Silver and AU, sorry, delay was driving. Uh, Atmex, uh, it had Zeus, I bet. It sold out. Uh, I feel I'm closing in on it. I spent like five hours on it. Are you talking about my riddle? Uh, Johnny Kilo, you spent five hours on my riddle. That's that's a lot, man. I'll tell you that's a lot. Um, again, just watch the video in its entirety. Pay close attention. You'll find everything you need in there. It shouldn't take you five hours. Um, and, and that's not to say anything. It's just it, it is a little tricky, but everything you need is in there. Um, Mickey Knox, uh, just wanted to let you know, if you didn't know already, I do have a giveaway going on. I'll be giving away uh, one of these beauties. This is a uh, little mini reproduction gold eagle, a St. Gaudens. All right, it's 0.85 grams. And in order to do that, you got to go to my uh, my 500 subscriber giveaway video. 
check out the video. The instructions on how to win this are here, are in that video. And uh, there are also uh, two other prizes that will be given away. So one's going to be uh, for commenting on that video and, and very specific thing you need to comment. Um, the second one is going to be for anyone who does a shout out video and then the third one is going to be for this one of these bad boys and uh, in order to win that you got to watch that video for the instructions. So everything you need to know is within that video. So anyways, good to see you all. Uh, again, Mickey Knox, great to have you in the chat, man. Johnny Kilo, good to see you. Muscle Shell, uh, Brass Junkie, and Aunt Orta, what's up, man? How are you guys doing? So I hope you guys had a fun time watching. Please hit the like button. Uh, if you haven't already, I'm sure you have. If you got the notification that I'm online, you're probably already subbed. Uh, but yeah, check out that, that comment video and sign up to win. I hope, I hope it goes off without a hitch. Uh, I think it'll be great. Uh, Brent, I'm working nights. I've been up and checking all night and morning. I don't think so. Not yet. Yeah, I haven't seen it on AppMex either. Is that actually U.S. coin? So let me let me talk about that real quick just to show you guys. This was minted not by the United States Mint. This was minted by uh, Columbia Mint, right? And I'll let you zoom in. You can see my, my terrible manicure job. Um, yeah, it says $20 United States of America. So is this a controversial coin? Probably, right? Because it says Liberty. This is straight up St. Gaudens, right? Even the, the date on it, if I can zoom in and catch it, just, I probably can't. Uh, I think it says 1908. Yeah, that says 1908 on there. Um, very hard to see, but yeah, this one is a 22 carat. Let me find the where it says it just to show you guys one more time. Here we go. On the side, smooth edge says 22 carat. So this is gold. And just to let you guys know, my uh, my coin guy Gary from uh, Coin Coin and Jewelry Gallery of Boca Raton. He took an X-ray gun to them, and he said they are all 22 carat solid gold. So they're legit. They got some weight to them. Um, yeah, so I, I don't, it's not actual US coin. It was minted by Columbia Mint uh, several years ago, and they are hard to find, and they are probably controversial. But since I'm not producing them and I'm not selling them, I'm giving it away, guess what? You guys can win one. So that's kind of awesome. So hope you guys do enter. Hope we get a lot more entries into that because that just makes it that much more fun. Columbia Gold. Yeah, I don't know if it's Columbia Gold. It's Columbia Mint, so I don't know where it's from. Uh, is that illegal? You know what? The production of it probably was. It probably was illegal to produce, but I will say that there is no U.S. coin of that size. The smallest one that the U.S. Mint made was one-tenth of an ounce. Uh, so, you know, I could reach out to the Secret Service because I believe that they're the ones who handle that. Uh, they, I'm sure they already know uh, about that, and that's probably why this wasn't uh, produced anymore. Um, you know, if, if you do make a copy coin, it should say copy somewhere on it. Uh, these ones do not. I've checked everywhere on it. It doesn't say copy anywhere on it. Uh, however, again, the U.S. Mint did not make any coins that were in this size. They only made up to or down to one tenth of an ounce. So it may be a, uh, you know, what, what does that say? I would think similar to the Norfed round. Yeah, maybe. Uh, missing streams, that's why. Um, that's cool. Now I have a mission for today. <laughs> yeah, good luck, man. And if you find the video, please don't leave any clues or hints in the chat. That will disqualify you, and it takes away the fun from the game. My email address is on um, every one of my videos, so if you want to send me a message, ask me if you crack the code, that's fine, but just don't leave anything in the chat. Let's keep it fun. Um, anyways, it was great seeing you all today. I hope you guys all have a great, great Monday and a happy week. Um, this this uh, what's it called this giveaway ends in what 11 days so on the 31st I'll be closing the giveaway we'll be doing the uh, the giveaway itself so I hope you guys are all entered into that anyways it was great seeing you guys and have a happy Monday I'll see y'all real soon